In this lecture, we'll take a look at the strategy tab. Now, there are much more to do here, most importantly setting parameters. Parameters or variables are little data boxes that can store four types of information that your expert will use independently. Integers are positive round numbers from 0 up to 9 digits. Doubles are all beyond that, strings are text, and lastly, booleans are true or false options. What you have here can be seen in the input options of your expert if the little box here is checked. These variables can be accessed anywhere by any corresponding rule throughout the program in the dialog panel, marked by these grey boxes. It's important to decide what type of variable you fill, for once it used it cannot be changed. Most commonly, pip distances, indicator periods, magic numbers are integers as simple numbers, while risk, ratio or any other results or formulas are doubles. As a thumb rule, try to make your strategy as flexible as possible at first. It will come handy when you optimize your strategy. If you don't want it to be seen in the end, just uncheck it. Before we make a setup script putting all this into action, let's quickly go through the money management section of this tab. It's really easy. Global stop and take profit options have time-saving purposes, for they can be referred separately. Note that in the order dialog, you can add any type of formula apart from variables, as long as they result in pips. Using money management means that you gonna use fixed place stop along with your order, so the size can be measured by the distance between the stop and the open price. If there is no stop, your order will open with a fixed size, given here. If you see this and no stop during the test, you will know that something is wrong with your stop loss formula. Later on, we will learn how to make your sizes flexible outside of this, but now let's make this setup. No matter what strategy you make, it will always get into a position and get out of it based on the rules you set. So to categorize the variables you use, you will have strategy options, money management options, and you will always want to have your magic numbers as well as parameters. The reason of this is that one magic number can only be used by one position, so if you want to run your expert on several instruments in the same account, you're gonna have to be able to change the numbers in the expert options. I like to make my experts to be really easy to see through, so I always know where to look for a certain variable. There are two things in money management you always want to be able to change, your risk which will be in double type, and your base currency ratio. If your account is not in US dollars, you will have to divide its rates with the dollar or your sizes won't match your risk setting. For safety reasons, if you apply money management, always check first that your sizes are right, especially if your account is in a weaker currency, for then a one-to-one -one setting will result in huge sizes. As a second defense, you can uh, set the maximum lots lower as well. Now we add two magic number variables for each direction. If you would have multiple positions, it will be much easier to refer each by names than by numbers, not to mention the collisions with other running experts. By using the same numbers, by the way, you can have other scripts or experts to take over certain positions, but usually everything can be inserted into one long expert and uh, switched off if not needed. About that we will talk more in the dance section. As for strategy options, here go all the indicator settings you use, let's say the periods of RSI, time settings or any switches you want to have. Of course now, for it's a setup, I leave it clear and save it into the expert folder for later use. So thank you for watching, with this we covered all I wanted before we get into the serious stuff. In the following section, we take a look at the trading rules tab and learn the most common combinations we would use creating a strategy.